Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hector, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, I'm first in the class. You're the first one, yes. I don't know where yeah. is everyone. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I'm going to send them a message because they are late. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. see. I'm going to send them a message. Let's see. Uh, I, I I try to start WhatsApp. Mm. Okay, look, I, I'm sending a, a message right now. It's like waiting for them. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time, Hector and Holman. Thank you because you are the first one. How was your day? Uh huh. Oh, good day. Good day. Ah, but, very good. But ever the, the, the weather is, uh, every day is hot, hot there. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I think that March and April are the hottest month in the year, I think. Yes. So, yeah. But the, but the, the, the Nino, I, I, I think no, no translate the effect niño are you talking about the weather condition the weather uh weather condition uh-huh uh-huh yeah i think that the, is the same the, maybe the the winter in 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 el salvador have a winter no yes we have raining yeah rain, is, is a rainy season the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the season rain maybe is a, a low with the low rain. Yeah, actually I was reading some news that they said that for this winter, we are not going to see a lot of raining. So mm -hmm. imagine it will be even hotter. <laughs> so that's pretty sad, but let's be positive. Okay, we don't have uh, um, floods, okay? Flo and Flats, inundation, es como inundaciones, so flats. Ah, 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 ah. Mm -hmm. So that's something positive, right? This, this spell is F L O W. No, it's F L double O D. Flood. Ah. I'm, I'm sending it in the chat. Flood. So flood is a lot of water. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Okay. All right. Ah, I can see most students. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? Uh huh. Only one. Welcome, Welcome teacher. <laughs> Hello, Magdaleno. You appear Hello. today. How are you? Yes. At home. <laughs> finally that's good <laughs> yes finally all right. <laughs> of course all right let's see who else i can see fatima hello fatima how are you hello teacher night good evening <laughs> how was your day fine fine but tiring but fine <laughs> <laughs> yes but all fine. right how about you, Jamie? How do you feel today? Uh, I I find and I feel today so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> it is. Believe me, I feel the same. I mean, sometimes I feel totally desperate because of that. So I totally understand. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So everybody, but look at the bright side. Today is Wednesday. So we are in the middle of the week. So we just need to study two more days. And what will happen next week? We are going to be on vacation. Ah, very good. So you see, look at the bright side. Two more days and we will go to vacations. Are you going to work on vacations, everyone? No? Yes? I work on vacation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the full week? Yes. 
Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry for you, Magdaleno. Um, Thank you. <laughs> how about you, everyone? Will you work during the next week? I don't work. <laughs> ah, okay, good for you. Yeah, <laughs> why not? So good, so good. Uh-huh, who else? Anyone else? No work. You don't work the next week? No. no. Good for you. No work. Hey, that's excellent. Uh-huh, and the rest? Only Magdaleno will work during the vacation. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It was sad. <laughs> Pretty sad, actually. Well, I hope everyone, you can have at least a little rest okay that you can enjoy the holidays and if you have a little free time try to review a little english okay try to review the topics try to advance on the platform okay take advantage of the free time that you will have and talking about the platform i will share with you your advance during this second week okay i'm sharing the platform you can see your score from the previous unit and the week number two, okay? So if you see some of you are advancing a lot in the week number two, right? That's great. But some of you haven't even finished the unit number one. So for example, I have Carlos, haven't started, haven't finished the unit number one. It's the same case with Erica. Mm, be careful, be careful. Um, but the rest of you, look at this, so far so good. Some of you are about to finish actually the week number two, so that's great. Remember that the goal, everyone, is to get 100%. I mean, that's the goal. If you get 80%, I mean, that's okay, but remember that 80 is the minimum, the minimum score, okay? So, if you got less than 80%, mm -mm, we need to work on it and we need to improve that score, okay? So it's Wednesday. Remember, we need to finish the unit number two before Friday midnight. And a reminder, remember that in the week number two, we had the first written exam. So you have to complete the first written exam too. Okay, so during the week number two, we have extra work because we got the exam. And if you haven't finished the week number one, so that is extra work, okay? So be careful, try to work on the platform just a little bit every single day so you can finish on time, all right? And remember that if you have questions about the platform or about some exercises, I mean, you can tell me and I will help you with that. Some of your classmates had uh, sent me some uh, screenshots with uh, some of the exercises and I try to help them as soon as possible. So please try to do it too. Now we're going to start. I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes, excellent. Yes, so today is March 29th. We are in the week number two. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Hmm. <laughs> Nobody. We oh about the brand teacher. Very good, exactly. We were talking about brands. Okay, everything related with marketing vocabulary. That was the topic. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see if you remember. We had different uh, uh, terms talking about branding. For example, brand awareness. What was that? Do you remember? What was the meaning? Brand awareness. Hmm. Do you remember? What was the definition for brand awareness? Is uh, when a posi positioning. Positioning? Positioning. 
Yes. In the brain, the consumer. Um, okay. Consumers. Consumers. Customers or consumers? Consumers. Okay, cool. And if we had to pick one of these definitions, what was the definitions for brand awareness? What do you think? Uh-huh. You don't remember? Okay, I will help you with the first oh, one. Look. Ah, brand awareness is the ability that the customer have to recognize the brand in the middle of the other brands. Okay, so yesterday we practiced a question. Can you tell me some brands that have a high brand awareness? What do you think? Can you name some brands with high brand awareness? Nike. Which one? Nike. Ah, very good. We got Nike is a very a high brand awareness. Yes. What else? Another one? Microsoft. Microsoft, definitely very good. Anyone else? Apple. Apple, definitely very good. So if you see, those are examples of brands with high brand awareness. Very good. So look at the next definition, customer's real view of a brand. Do you remember? What was that? Mesh. Image. Image. Very good, exactly, the brand image. The next one, company uh, wants a customer to think about it. What do you think? Identity. Identity, Identity. yes. Identity. Okay, customers have it out of always, always buying the same product. What is that? Do you remember? Positioning. Ah, loyalty. loyalty. Very loyalty. good. So if you remember yesterday, uh, we were practicing the question and we talk about it. Do you have um, a brand loyalty? A high only one? Do you have brand loyalty? So to a specific brand? Yes or no? No. For no, me, really? no. Okay. All right. And the rest of you, everyone, do you have brand loyalty to certain or to a specific brands? So for example, in my case, I don't know, but I feel a brand loyalty to Samsung. If I'm going to buy a new cell phone, I always try to buy a Samsung because for me, it's totally functional. It's a cell phone that works perfectly for me, right? So that is brand loyalty. I always try to buy the same product. Anyone else? Do you have brand loyalty? Yes or no? Teacher, yes? teacher I have a brand loyalty with my printer. Aha, uh -huh. why? I prefer Canon. Mm -hmm. There are, there is, no, no, no. Um, I prefer Canon because they are so easier to, to handle. I don't know what, what words I can use. It is easy to use, it is easy to add, to, <laughs> to use. install. Uh -huh. To use. Okay. The Very install good. is so easy and everything what I what I need to do. Very everything good. Everything is easy. And they are so, how do you say when, when a thing 
have durability? That one, they are, <laughs> they have durability. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that sounds that good. That is the reason. Very good. So if you see, that is an example of brand loyalty. Excellent job. Now, the number five, what was the answer? Do you remember? How a product is marketed. Uh, market it compared to similar products offered by the other companies. Position. Correct. Very good. Now, um, when a brand has low prices, what is the name? Economy. Aha, uh -huh. economy brands. And the opposite, when they have high prices? Premium. premium. Very premium. good. Excellent. Can you give me examples of economy brand? White brand, for example, in the supermarket. Ah, correct. What else? Do you remember any other economy brand? The food, the fast food, for example. Yes. Okay. It's economy, it's economy meal. You can buy for five or six dollars a meal. That's correct. Imagine if you buy fast food, for example, if you go to a food court in a mall, um, those ones are cheaper than if you go to a restaurant, like a fancy restaurant. Okay, sounds good. Can you give me examples of premium brands? What do you think? Teacher premium premium brand. I think that is when you have when you have to pay um, for quality for high quality or if for example if you want to a specific brand, but this is different that luxury. Yes, actually, or not they, is the mm, same premium than lux luxury. That it, is it can be included. It can be included because remember that in the economy. They are not so luxury, right? They don't have those characteristics because if you include that feature, that cost money. So normally luxury is related to premium brands because they are more expensive. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So can you give me examples? Another example for premium brands? The car, Mercedes-Benz. Very good example, exactly. Those are premium brands. If you see, the prices is very high. It's not very cheap. Mm -hmm. Maserati Ferrari is a <laughs> car. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So they offer good quality, but high prices. Excellent job. Now, that was the topic that we studied yesterday. Remember everybody what I told you yesterday. Intermediate level is to learn vocabulary and practice speaking. That's the idea. So please don't forget the vocabulary that we studied in each class. Take at least five minutes every day to review the topics, to review the vocabulary, please. Okay, now the topic that we are going to study today is analyze national product and price. That is the topic that we are going to study today, analyze national products and price. But before starting, I'm going to take attendance. So remember everyone, if you listen to your names, say present. So, Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Very good. Christian Alexander. Oh, I think he's listener. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. All right. Gabriel Beltran. Oh, he's listener too. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. 
Present. Very good. Jamie Escobar. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Eh, Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Uh, Selvin Adonai. Selvin Adonai. Ah, okay. I checked the chat. Thank you. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, uh, just a reminder, I was checking the attendance from yesterday, okay? And not everybody connect the 120 minutes, two hours, okay? No les voy a mostrar cuántos minutos tienen, solo les voy a decir que no todos se conectan las dos horas, okay? So, it is important, cuando ustedes no se conectan los, las dos horas, no les aparecen los 120 minutos. Y cuando tengo personas, for example, and I'm explaining this in Spanish, so not excuses that you don't understand. Tengo personas que solo se han conectado como 90 minutos. Imagine, so it, it's like 90 minutes. Mm -mm. Entonces a las personas que se han conectado como 90 minutos, 100 minutos, ahí ya les aparece una etiquetita en los nombres, esa no la coloco yo, right? Así que be careful, ¿ok? Tratemos siempre de conectarnos las dos horas. So, el objetivo es que al final ustedes tengan 120 minutos. So, for example, in today, eh, algunos entraron después de la hora, unos dos o tres minutos tarde. So, imagine, ya ahí ya perdieron, ¿qué? Tres minutos. Y si de repente eh, se salen de la clase, pierden otro minuto. Si terminamos a las 10, pero ustedes se desconectan dos minutos antes o al final imagen de minuto en minuto, pierden cinco minutos, pierden diez minutos. So be careful with that. Ok, tratemos de entrar a tiempo y tratemos de estar las dos clases, las dos horas. Because at the end, everybody, if you want to get the full percentage in the attendance, you have to be the two hours, okay? So every single day, you have to get 120 minutes. So, uh, Rosalina, did you have a question? Not only I say I'm here. Ah, yes, no worries. I already uh, gave you the attendance, no problem. Yes. Okay, anyone, do you have questions about the attendance? No? Okay, well, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation again. So as I said, the topic for today is analyze national product and price. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Could I try the chair? Of course, go ahead. Okay, analyze national product and price. Class object, uh, class objective. To analyze the product, uh, the components of the product and price strategies of a famous national product or service. Thank you, very good. So everyone, let's talk about this. Now, to understand the topic first, I have a question. Why is pricing important. Imagine that you are going to have a business, your own business. Imagine that you have, I don't know, a pupuseria. Hmm? So do you think that pricing is important? Yes or no? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is pricing because important? There are two points import mm -hmm. uh, uh, the price is it has to be attractive for the customer 
because if you if you put a, a price so high, there is no one is going to buy buy you. Because ah. another company it could be it have a price uh, lower. Lower prices. Hmm. Lower prices. And the other point that could be is you have to define a good price because you have to have profit and you have to uh, cover the cost, all the cost of your business. Very good, nice analysis. Exactly, imagine if you give the product like a very high prices, people are not going to visit your business. But if it is too cheap, if you got very cheap prices, you are not going to have a profit, okay? Very good. Now, another question. Why should you consider, what aspects should you consider when you are setting the prices of a product? Can I say just, ah, okay, I have a pupuseria. You know what, the pupusas will be $1 each pupusas. Why? I don't know why. I just want to give pupusas to $1. Do you think that it's important to consider some aspects before pricing? Hmm, what do you think? Yes, you yes. have to know yes. the cost. Ah, okay. The and cost, the product. Very uh, good. And what? if you have a if you have a loss in in packaging or you know, something like that, you have to know the cost for packaging or for 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 give the pupusas. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. I need to know how much is the packaging. How much money I need for that? What else? Can you tell me another aspect that you should consider before pricing? It cost the the cost the the material materials. Mm, very good. It's the most it's the most important. Well, <clears throat> uh, because uh, um, what do you say in English? Is um, se traslada al consumidor. Translate to the customers. Thank you. Translate to the consumers. Very good, exactly. Imagine you need to know the material, how much is it? How much is the raw material that you are going to need? Very good. Another aspect that I should consider before setting the price? The competitors, the demand, the offer. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The place, the place too. Very good. The exactly, the lady offer and demand. Imagine that there are like five pupuserias around me and they give pupusas at, I don't know, three pupusas per dollar. And I decided to give pupusas to one dollar. Do you think people will go to my restaurant? <laughs> not really, because it's very yeah, expensive. Maybe. Well, it depends, right? Maybe my friends. <laughs> So, but maybe the other people will think now is very expensive. Now, as your classmate said, the location, if I sell pupusas in the park versus if I sell pupusas in La Gran Vía, do you think that the prices will be the same? No, 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 never. No. <laughs> right, exactly. So all the aspects that you mentioned um, they are aspects that uh, we should consider before setting the price, okay? Keep in mind these elements because we are going to have an activity and we are going to use the ideas that you just provided. Now, let's practice reading. I have here uh, Antonio and Rene. They are talking about modifying the product and the price strategy for their headphones. What is the product? Look, headphones. headphones, okay? So we are going to read this conversation and 
let's learn what they are talking about. I will need two volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? I want to be one. Thank you, Magdaleno. Who else? And Ivan. Very good. Okay, Magdaleno, you will be Antonio. Ivan, you will be Rene. But let me do it bigger. Okay, let's start. Uh, um, the competition just realized. Realized. Released. Released. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? Yeah, we call renew. Is, is correct pronunciation? Renew? Yes, renew. Okay, we could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make the colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with every advertising campaign. Com, what, what is pronunciation? Campaign. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months. Months. And an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help its counter or competitor, competitors. Competitors? Com thank you, competitors, release of their products. Very good, very good. So imagine everyone that you are the owners of this company and you are offering your headphones but what happens there are a lot of competitors so what could you do about the pricing should your headphones be more expensive cheaper what characteristics can you change in this paragraph what are some of the strategies that they want to apply what do you think? Look, they want to renew the look. So they want to change the design. What else? What is another strategy that they want to do? An advertising campaign. Very good, an advertising campaign. Very good, very good. But what is the negative aspects of an advertising campaign? It's too expensive. Very good, it's very expensive. So imagine when we are talking about pricing, there are different aspects that you need to consider. Okay, so now we are going to have a competition, okay? Now, look at this, everyone. We are going to work in groups, but this is a competition. The most attractive product is going to be the winner, okay? Look at this. I need, everybody, I need you to create a brand of chocolate bars. Everybody, listen, the product is chocolate bars. You cannot talk about cell phones. You cannot talk about um, computers. No. What is the product? It's chocolate, chocolate bars. bars. Good. No coffee. We are not talking about restaurants. We are, no, chocolate bars. What do I need? I need you to think in different aspects. The first aspect is the name. So you have to create a name for the chocolate bars. So I'm going to give you an example. <laughs> I got the inspiration of SpongeBob. I don't know if you remember this cartoon. <laughs> do you? Yes, I do. Yes, I love it. <laughs> okay, I love it too. I love this cartoon. So 
The name of my chocolate bars will be everlasting. <laughs> okay, that is the name for me. That is my chocolate bars. So I want you to think also in the price. My chocolate bars is $2.50 each bar. Okay. I need you to think about the tagline. Do you know what is the meaning for this word tagline? It's like a slow. Exactly. For example, if you uh, use Nike, what is the slogan for Nike? Just do it. Just do it. Exactly. So I need you to think in a tagline. For example, my chocolate bar is it makes you live forever. <laughs> that is the slogan. Okay. So I need you to think also in your target audience or your target market. What is the meaning for target audience or target market? That is the same. What is the meaning? Five. People. Ah, exactly. So who will be your customers? In my case, my customers are seniors. <laughs> because you know, the idea <laughs> is that <laughs> they, they, can, <laughs> they can feel identified. Okay, that's the idea. Hey, I'm going to live forever, right? So that's why my chocolate bars is for seniors. And at the end, I want you to think in characteristics that make your product different from the competitors. What is the main characteristic? In my case, my chocolate bars, well, because this is for seniors, <laughs> they are sugar-free. They are very soft because you know that the seniors cannot eat some strong food, <laughs> so they need something soft. Um, and because it is for seniors, these chocolate bars are fortified with vitamins and minerals. And these vitamins and minerals are going to help them to live forever. <laughs> okay, so that's my chocolate bars. In your case, I want you to change everything. Okay, invent a name. Okay, think about a very interesting name. Think about the cost. In my case, if you see, I think that the chocolate bars are not so cheap. Are not so expensive, but they are not cheap. But why? I consider that if they have vitamins and minerals, well, the chocolate must be a little bit expensive, right? Now, invent the tagline. And remember, depending on your tagline, that is going to be your target audience. If your target audience will be children, think about a tagline related to children. If it's going to be for young people, okay, if it is going to be for adults, or if it is going to be for people who works in an office, maybe, I don't know. Or if it is going to be for fit people, remember the people who goes to the gym, maybe, I don't know. So think about your target audience, okay? And tell me characteristics that makes this product different. So, as I mentioned before, this is a competition, okay? At the end, you will present the information and everybody, we are going to vote for the best team, okay? And the winners, listen, they are not going to have homework for vacations, okay? So that is the cost. Is it clear the activity, everyone? Yes? It's clear. Everybody, todos, estamos claros con lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? Yes. Excellent. I'm going to send the instructions on WhatsApp group so you can take um, the example. But remember, try to use your imagination. Try to think about something interesting, something that 
catch the attention of the customers, all right? And complete all that information. Remember, at the end, we are going to vote for the best presentation, okay? In this moment, nobody can speak in Spanish, full, full English. If there is a word that you don't know how to say it, okay? So uh, you have to search it on the dictionary. Well, everybody, let's go to work. Hi, Fatima. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Hector. Hello, hello, Jenny. Hello, Fatima. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi, okay. Um, make a presentation. I go oh, or no. Hello. Hello. Hey. I don't know if if I if we made a presentation with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Remember that a PowerPoint presentation is optional, but this is a competition. Okay, so the idea is that you have to try to be more attractive than your classmates. So if you want to create a presentation, do it. If not, it's up to you, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. I, I, mm -hmm. uh, I believe that we have to create, create a, a presentation. A Hello, everyone. Is anyone here? Yes. Okay, Isabel, yeah. you're Only. here. Just you. Lo voy a mover a otro yes. grupo. I'm going to switch you to another team. Okay? okay. Very okay. good. Very good. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, Hi, guys. Uh, I already joined Isabel to your team. And I'm going to join some other people. No worries. In this moment, I'm joining Pamela too. So you can work with her. No worries. I'm joining some people to this team. Hello, can you hear can you hear me? Yes, we can Hi. hear you. Okay, so everyone, you are not alone anymore. So you can work together. Okay. Hello Iman. Hello Isabel and Oscar. Hello. So we have to Hello. we have to create the the new chocolate bars. I I was thinking about we can we can create a chocolate for for kids. I think it's a a very good target market <laughs> because kids love loves all uh, chocolate sweets in all that that stuff. What do you think? It's a good idea. Okay. So what what name can you can you imagine for this chocolate? If if or target audience is children 
What do you think? What name can you can we put to the chocolate bar? The chocolate is is mixed milk chocolate or only chocolate? I was thinking about the that we can make it with because we have to create some characteristics that make it different from the others. So I was thinking about that can be chocolate with chocolate with another flavors like with fruits or chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, specific, it's it's specific, specific. Yeah. It's a specific uh, people. Yes, it's fitness. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh -huh. <laughs> the price is, is, is a little higher because it's fit. Yeah, it's for it's for a specific <laughs> market. Yeah. 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 Reduced. Uh -huh. Two fifty, I consider that is okay because it's the same as the mm -hmm. Yes, two fifty, okay. two fifty bar, um, because they are uh, yes, the product is sugar free and protein uh -huh. and dark they, chocolate. Uh, and the package is very nice because it's for for a specific target markets. Exactly. Uh, about middle class, maybe up. Yes. Yeah, yeah we make know. to attractive the 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 product. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, two fifty. Magdalena? <laughs> yeah, it's already. <laughs> the protein is really, really expensive. Exactly, the protein. Mm. Yeah. And sugar free yeah. also. Yeah. Yes, sugar free and vitamins or. or... Okay, the tagline. The tagline, okay, the slogan. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the tagline. Forever fitness, no. <laughs> Improve your life, no. <laughs> Healthy life, uh, no. Um. <laughs> Como say, how do you say? Um... Mm -hmm. like, like Nike, just a bit. Just a bit. I think it's like a mordida, a bit. Oh, just to beat. <laughs> yeah. I think some just, more to just okay. to beat for, for healthy <laughs> or for life. I don't know. Just, just to be. Yeah, for health. Uh -huh. Just to be for health, maybe. Yeah, for health, yes, because it's fit. Yeah, it's for your, your it's care to your health and care to your body, no? Yes, just to be for health. Yeah. Okay, Magdaleno, Magdaleno, I'm that one. <laughs> it's a bite. Are you agree, Erica? Magdaleno? Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, could you repeat that, please? Just I don't know. To beat it. for no, help. Just to, to beat the mordida, to beat for help. Just be oh, careful. Just be careful with the pronunciation because it's bite. bite. <laughs> bite. Yes. bite. Thank you, Miss. Oh, the Miss is bite. 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 Yes. Bite. Bite. Yeah. bite. Just to bite for for hell is yeah. correct Just to say. A bite. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. a bite. Okay. Yeah. No. Yes. Maybe. You need, you need to spell it's in the word. Just a bite for mm -hmm. just. Sweet. Eh. E. Después de ti. E. Uh -huh. e. Uh -huh. e. M. M. Sí. M. 
Oh, now, now, N. Yes. N of noun. Uh huh. It's good. It's good. S. No. Three things. Uh huh. Yes. Your life. life. Your life. No, there is your, your life. Your, your, your life. life. Your life. In your life. The another point. What is? Is uh, who target who your target audience is. Mm. With the with using this price, I can that can your that can. Yeah. Or, okay, or, let's choco or crazy. Choco, or choco loco, taxi, choco loco. Crazy, crazy loco. No, no, uh -huh. eh, choco crazy. The, the name is a choco, choco loco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody is saying like choco crazy. More, I like it more like choco crazy. Okay, what do you think? I I think that it's it's fine choco crazy. Then think about the price. What price do you think it's it's and fine it, for the chocolate? Mm. Okay, sorry to interrupt you. Anyone? Just uh, I I have to tell you something. The other teams are creating a PowerPoint presentation, so that is optional. It's up to you. But remember that this is a competition. So just an idea, all right? Okay. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Thank thank you, teacher. Um, I don't know. If... I she go crazy. Here, here. Someone can use PowerPoint. <clears throat> or you can present an image, a picture. I mean, it's not necessarily like a PowerPoint, Some, just only something visual, maybe. So you can search for a picture or something, OK? OK. OK. okay. I'm going to search. No, no, really. You are the no. just devil. No, no, no. no. What do you say? It's no, no. You, you are, you are the devil. Do no, uh, we are an angels. <laughs> we are an angels. <laughs> dangerous are you? No. Angels or dangerous? No angels, angels, angels. You are, angels. You, you are angel, David. Angel, dangerous. <laughs> okay. Okay. Target audience is the fitness people, and yeah. the last one is the ingredients. I see. So, or the the characteristics that make them that make it different to the competition. Competition without sugar. Okay, sugar-free or yeah, free sugar. Or free sugar. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Sugar uh, give me, give me, give me time. Give me time. So. Okay. 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 It's a retired. Ah, blah 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Good people. <laughs> okay. Fitness. 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 Yeah. Okay. Fitness people. I think okay. it's with double T. Fitness. Fitness. Double T. Is double T? You see the the, the, the no. word. People <laughs> who, who not consume, no sé, así consume sugar. Or we can decide like we can use I, 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 I have I have seen we I have I have seen that the a few products say sweetings 
with uh, stevia or like dietic sugar. Sweet with dietic sugar. I believe, I, mm. I don't know if you... <laughs> I see, we have a few fruit. Not, not fruit with stevia sweet, sweet may. <laughs> not may. natural ingredients. That, that computer battery is about to die if you don't charge it. Hmm? The computer battery is about to die if you don't charge it. Good night, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't want you to lose the information. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie. Um, we have a few pro with main no. natural ingredients. Stevia sugar. I cheers. I think. What do you think? Four cheers between uh ten years. Yes, four and ten years between four and ten years. Okay. Then. The characteristics. Oh. Um, the characteristics. Um... I think that we, like, like we said, we have, we can have a lot of type of flavors like white chocolate. El plano o Felix. What? Pues sí, pero el plano o Felix. Ah, sorry. Um, like white chocolate mm. or uh, a strawberry, no, chocolate with a strawberry. Okay, everyone, and sorry to interrupt chocolate. you. You only have two more minutes and then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay. 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 Chocolate. Gluten free. Gluten, gluten free. free. But this is for a specific um, person that they are, for example, gluten free is the the flour or could be uh, yeah without, the flour without flour. Sorry yes. to interrupt you. We only have two more minutes. All right. Okay, miss. Okay. Okay. How do you say carbohydrates? Carbohydrates. 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 Carbohydrate. Yes. Okay. That one. Free. Mm -hmm. Free what carbohydrate. Say, free? <laughs> yeah. free. Free carbohydrate. Yes. yes. What she says. <laughs> exactly what she says. <laughs> okay. Maybe fever, no? Fever, fever, yes, fever, fever. 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 Yes, you, put, you put vitamins. Sugar. Okay, sugar free. Most important is that the Erica say the uh, the protein, 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 protein. <laughs> proteins. <clears throat> what else? Omega 3, I don't know, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D. <laughs> I, oh I, 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 I write that. Okay, vitamin. 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 Vitamins is, 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 is better. Vitamins. In general. Vitamins. No? Vitamins. Uh -huh. In general. Right? Yeah. Yes. yes, in general. What else? Fever. 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 Yes. And and uh, guys, what about, what, about, huh? what about if the tagline is a revive with a bite? No, we can, no. We can, uh, we, uh, we can add a uh, something like a uh, black chocolate and chocolate from the Amazonas. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> from the Amazon. Yes, she is from the US. May, <laughs> hey, hey, make with the, uh, hey, I lost. Umpa Lumpa. <laughs> make with the Umpa Lumpa. <laughs> <laughs> One more minute, team. One more minute, and we go back to the main room. Uh, what is the next point? I, I believe that is only one. And no, no, it's, it's a, only that. Yes, okay. it's all. You're done. You finish. I finish. So. Or less. Okay, we'll give you one more minute. Hurry up, and then we go back to the main room. Okay. Fatima, sweeten yes? in the presentation, please. Sweeten your life thick. Without, with, uh, without, with the, without C. <laughs> without C, uh huh. And the end, uh huh. Life. Umpa Loompa. <laughs> The, the, the characteristic is crash. <laughs> the price is cheaper because I and have a lot of characteristics. Our kids and all the, the different characteristics. I think we are done just, I don't know, the an image. You ready, team? Yes, almost, teacher, we are ready, but we don't have something visual. It's optional. I mean, it's totally optional. Just, yes. I recommend it because the other teams have it. Yes, I'm, I'm searching. But okay. the other, we, we, we have finished. Teacher. Perfect. No worries. I will give you one more minute and then we go back to the main room. Okay. Hey, see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, the time is <laughs> um, ending. We have one thing like a chocolate milk with with almonds almond uh -huh. with almonds. almonds yes so in the uh, state is stack line with umpa loompa we are going to put so Live your life. Okay, time's up. The activity finished. We are going to wait for the rest of the class to go back to the main room. Okay, time's up. Let's go back. Okay, very good. Time's up, everyone. Time's up, time's up. Okay, very interesting information. I was listening. All right. How did you feel the practice? Was it easy or difficult? What do you think? I was in a dream thing, actually. Ah, very good. Excellent. Uh, anyone? How did you feel the practice? Interesting. Very good, nice. Was it easy or difficult, anyone? Was difficult. 
difficult. All right. Also improve the vocabulary. Ah, very good. That's the idea. Nice. So, did you listen to words in Spanish? Yes or no? No, right? Full English. Okay, okay. Well, we are going to start. I have the first presentation. Remember everyone, if you want to present PowerPoint presentation or a picture or any visual help, that is totally optional. Okay, so let's start with the team number one. I will ask in to different members of the team to explain me the reason why you decided that information. Team number one, in the team number one, I have, let's see, Isabel Hernandez, Ivan Guzman, Oscar Armando, and Pamela Carolina. I don't know if were anyone else. No, or only you guys. Yes, okay, let's yeah. start. Um, let's start with Pamela. Okay, I think Pamela was the only girl in that team. Okay, Pamela, let's see. What was the name of the chocolate bars? Yes, teacher. Our chocolate bar name is Choco Crazy. Okay, Choco Crazy. That's an interesting name. And let's see, uh, why? Why that name? Because we were we were thinking um, uh, an attractive name because our target audience uh, are kids. So it's something like sounds attractive for them. Oh, interesting idea. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's see. Um, Oscar, what was the prize? Uh, the prize teacher is the two dollar each. Each bar? Yeah, yeah. Two dollars. Two dollar is, is the, the group thinking they is uh, available for kids. Mm, okay, okay. Let's see, Isabel, tell me the tagline. Uh -huh. Isabel Hernandez, what is the tagline? Hello, are you there? Okay, so in that case, let's see another member of the team. Ivan, are you there? Yes. Okay, yeah. what is the tagline? Ah, the tiger is a loss of fun in one bite. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very interesting. I liked it. And it makes sense because it's for kids, right? Hmm. right. Okay, um, so, Pamela said that your target audience, well, it's for kids. Um, I don't know, I need a member of the team volunteer to explain me the characteristics that make your chocolate bars different from your competitors. Yes, teacher. Our characteristics, it's that we have a lot of flavors uh, combined with the chocolate, like white chocolate, chocolate with strawberry, chocolate mint. Uh, we think uh, that our chocolate bars are sugar free because it's more healthy for the kids. That doesn't mean that change the flavor because kids love the, the taste of the chocolate. And, and we and our bars are crazy color bars. Um, they are of different colors. The chocolate is strawberry, it's color red. The chocolate and mint, it's color green for make it more attractive for the kids. Mm, okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, 
Thank you, team number one. Good job, good job. I liked it. Everybody, did you pay attention to the team number one? Mm, you have to pay attention because remember at the end you will vote for your favorite chocolate bars and you cannot vote by yourself. So what was the name of the chocolate from the team number one? Choco crazy. Crazy chocolate. Oh, oh crazy chocolate. <laughs> All right. What more, or less. more or less. More or less. More or less. But she got the idea. She got the idea. Okay. So, Pamela, tell her the first name, please. It's Choco Crazy. Ah, what was the name, everyone? Choco Crazy. What was the target Choco audience? Crazy. Kids. Ah, Kids. very good. Nice job. Okay, thank you, team number one. Okay, let's move on to the team number two. In the team number two, I had Fatima, Hector, Jamie, Holman, and Nelson. Okay, team. Uh, let's start with Holman. Holman, what is the name of the product? Oh, we have a presentation. Okay. Okay, okay Holman. Chocolate. <laughs> Wonka chocolate, okay. <laughs> Wonka chocolate. Why? Why that name? Is experience in the movie. Inspired. <laughs> Isn't inspired. It's inspired in, in the, the movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So Fatima, what yeah. is uh, what is the price? Uh, have two well have big bars for three dollars and small bars for one to fifty fifty okay all right all right um Hector what is the tagline is sweeten your life umpa loompa <laughs> <laughs> Sweeten your life, Oompa Loompa. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I feel that you are telling me that I am a Oompa Loompa, but sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, let's see. Um, Jamie, tell me uh, who's your target audience? Uh, our target, target audience is 10 years and teenagers. Mm, okay, okay. And Nelson, what are the characteristics that make your products different from the competitors? Okay, some characteristics we have variety like chocolate milk or uh, no, is the use the best organic material and natural cacao with protein. Okay, all right, sounds good, sounds good. Who else? Who else? Aquí no le preguntado el team. Or did everybody already participate? Yes. Oh, uh, can I? Yes, go ahead. Uh, we um, we want to create a product in, in this case a Wonka chocolate uh, that could be an option for all the people because all the people can eat. For example, person is a person that has diabetes can, diabetes can eat because diabetes can eat because uh, it's made green stevia sugar and so the people that care her her body and can do so sport and they don't want it so a, a product a high sugar can eat it too because it's a it's a product with stevia sugar Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds interesting. All right. Okay. Everybody, what was the name of the chocolate bar from the team number two? 
Wonka Wonka. Chocolate. <laughs> Wonka chocolate. I like it. Very good. Very good. Interesting. Interesting information. And I like the name. Very good. Thank you. Team number two. Nice job. Okay. Team number three. Let's see. In the team number three, I had Erika, Magdaleno, Mirna, Rosalina. So I don't know if anyone else. No? Only you? Okay. So team number three, let's start with Erika. What is the name of your chocolate bars? Mm -hmm. Our names or chocolate names is Choco Fit. I'm sorry? Choco Fit. We have presentation. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Share the presentation. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. There we got the presentation. Choco Fit Bar. Ah, okay. That's an interesting name. Okay, let me ask to, 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 to Magdaleno, what is the price? Uh, microphone, I cannot hear you. Yes, the price is two hundred. Uh, no, so sorry, two hundred. Two hundred. What? Much expensive. <laughs> no, it's not two hundred. It's two dollar fifty. Two dollar fifty per bars. Ah, okay, okay, two dollar fifty. Sounds good. Uh, yes. Mirna, tell me, what is your tagline? Our child is revive with a bite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Sounds interesting. Uh, let's see. Um, who else in the team? Ah, Rosalina. Who's your target audience? Our target audience is the fitness people. Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Erika, can you name some of the characteristics that makes your product unique? Yeah, it is sugar free. It has proteins, vitamins. I think vitamins, omega free or omega free, zinc, magnesium, rich in fiber, gluten free, mm -hmm. easy yes. to handle. Uh, and the energy that you need to train. Mm, okay, sounds good actually. I like that, very interesting. So let's see, let's see, Choco Fit Bar. So everyone, mm, I like that, I like that. Okay, team, uh, everybody, what was the target audience for the team number three? Choco Fit Bar. people. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody, are you fitness? Is anyone fitness, fitness here? People. Yes, we are yes. fitness <laughs> with a ball in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Thank you, team number three. Very good job. Okay, everyone. Very interesting information you have. I love it. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, now it's time to decide your favorite team. Um, I was trying to check the pool here in the Zoom app, but eh, no me habilita la pool aquí en Zoom, sorry. <laughs> uh, but we are going to do it in the, uh, another way. I'm going to send you a link, okay? So in that link, you will find the options, okay? Listen, you cannot vote for yourself. That's the rule, okay? So look at this. Um, let me share how you can see this. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes? yes. Anyone? Okay, so here we got favorite chocolate bars. You need to write your names, okay? So if you write your names, I'm not going to see, I mean, that you vote for yourself, please. So you just have to pick your favorite. Team number one was a Choco Crazy. Team number two was Wonka Chocolate. And the team number three was Choco Fit Bar. So you just have to vote 
for your favorite and then given scent. Got it? The team who gets more points are free from homework. This is in case that I decided to give you homework for vacations. Understood? Okay, I'm yes. sending the link right now on WhatsApp group and I'm sending it here in the chat of Zoom too. Open up the link and go to vote. You have two minutes to vote. And we are going to see who the winners are. Remember, don't vote for yourself. No se vale votar por uno mismo. Please, don't vote for yourself. You have to vote for a different team. Okay, I got one person already answered, two people already answered. Okay, very good. Okay, three people, four people, nice. Don't vote for yourself. If you vote for yourself, I'm going to erase your point. Don't vote for yourself. Acabo de ver a alguien que votó por su mismo equipo. Please don't do it. If you do it, I'm going to remove the point. <laughs> you know, right? Okay, very good. Don't vote for yourself. Ya eliminé un punto, everyone, because you are voting for yourself. My goodness. You don't follow instructions. <laughs> Okay. I believe what uh, what who was. Uh huh. Yeah, I already eliminate <laughs> that point. My goodness. <laughs> okay, thirty seconds. Everybody, go and vote. Very good. Okay, I have 13 people already finished, already voted. Quickly, everyone. There are some people that haven't voted yet. 30 seconds. Well, 15 seconds. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Interesting answers. Okay, everybody, time's up. If you didn't vote it, I mean, if you didn't vote, sorry. Sorry, but it's done. Okay, okay, very nice, very nice. I'm going to share with you the answers. Very interesting, by the way. Okay, let me share the screen so you can see the final score. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, I eliminated the people who voted for themselves. That's why we only got 15 points. Okay, so sorry, but some points were eliminated. Okay, we got a Wonka chocolate. It has 6.7%. Good. We got Choco Crazy with the 40%, nice. And the winner is the Choco Fit Bar with the 53%. Okay, team number three with the Choco uh, Fit Bar, you are the winners. Congratulations, very good job, very good job. So if you see anyone, a good analysis. I like the way that you think about the name to make it attractive. I like the way that all of you consider the price, consider the tagline. All the taglines were very interesting. I love it. And super good. And this is my favorite part. I love the way that you thought about the characteristics that makes your product unique because you were thinking about your target audience, how you can catch their attention, and you also thought about the competitors. So everybody, an excellent job for everyone. Excellent. Now, super good. I love it. While you were working on this activity, 
I always listen to song mistakes with the comparative adjectives. Sometimes we said, ah, this is more cheap. Can I say that? More cheap? No, no it's cheaper. Very cheaper good. Cheaper or cheapest. Can I say, ah, because this product is more healthy. Mm. What is the correct one? Healthier. Very good healthier okay so we still got some issues when we are comparing so the rest of the class of today we are going to practice that topic it's not in the lesson plan but we have to practice that but we are going to combine it we are going to compare brands and we are going to use short and long adjectives can everybody see the presentation Yes. Yes, okay. sir. yes. Excellent. Okay. First, let's see some uh, very useful adjectives talking about brands and the topics that we are studying right now. Here we have long adjectives and short adjectives. But first, let's match the definition. Reliable. That is a pronunciation of the number one. Reliable. What do you reliable. think? What is the meaning of reliable? Any idea? What do you think? Have you ever seen that word? Reliable. No, teacher. When you trust or believe in something. <laughs> ah, actually, that is the one. When you trust, for example, trust. in a brand, so imagine if you have a cell phone, in my case, I have Samsung. I have been using Samsung since I started to use smartphones. So for me, reliable, this company is reliable, okay? So they do what I expect. So the first one is knowing that the person or the object will do what you expect them to do. In my case, the Samsung cell phones do what I expect. That's why they are reliable. What do you think is the comparative? Can I say reliable or more reliable? What is the correct? More. More, more reliable. Correct, because it's longer. The next one, helpful. Have you ever heard this adjective? Helpful. It's different than useful, use, useful, or is the same or is different? Actually, they are synonyms. They are synonyms. So what do you think? What is the definition for helpful? Helpful is a uh, is uh, the products is practice in, in the in the stylist life, the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. And the rest of you, anyone? Look at the definitions that we got here. Let's for try me, to match it. For me, the letter H. The letter D. In my opinion is H. Okay, some of you say D, some of you say A. <laughs> and for me is A. I think and for you is A. Me. Yeah, for me is B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see that many people have different options. Okay, some of you say that is the letter A, having the basic things needed to work. Letter D, being able to make a situation better or works in a real situation not just in a possible situation hmm. letter, remember letter h. letter h okay right hmm. let's see actually the correct one is the letter d mm -hmm. and no yeah. worries we are going to identify the, the rest of the definition so helpful helpful is a person or an object that make your life easier. Helpful is a synonym of useful. They are synonyms, 
Okay. Now, helpful. Can I say helpfuler or more helpful? More. More helpful. More helpful. More. Definitely. Okay. The next one. Affordable. Affordable. Hmm. Interesting. What is that? What is the meaning of affordable? What do you think? Not paying too expensive. Ah, okay. You got the idea. So look at the definitions. Which letter? F. Letter H. F costing a lot of money? C. Letter C. Letter C, letter not C. being too expensive. Maybe yeah. letter C because it's affor affordable. Affordable? Affordable. affordable. Yes, mm -hmm. that is the but correct I... one. Affordable is not being too expensive. That means something cheap, accessible. It is easy to buy. Okay? So, for example, if you mention big cola <laughs> do you know that big cola do you think that big cola is affordable yes or no yes it's affordable definitely how about an iphone is affordable no affordable oh. not really right not really. very good <laughs> affordable can i say affordable -er or more affordable more affordable. Correct. Very good. Let's move on to the next adjective. Practical. Hmm. What is the meaning for practical? Is A having the basic things? Okay. Is Have, letter yes, is A for me. Letter A too. And the rest of you, everyone, what do you think? Practical is age, maybe because functional is letter A, I think. Maybe but I'm a. not sure. Okay, maybe so a. okay. Age. But I'm I'm confused because in practical and functional. <laughs> <laughs> we are like going to see <laughs> they are kind of the same, actually. Yes. So we got practical and functional. Some of you say that practical is the letter A. Some of you say that is the letter H. I need a final answer. Practical. <laughs> practical? Practical is practical, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the letter A. Letter A. Mm, okay. Well, they are very oh. uh, similar words. So yes, think about an object. Imagine if you have a cell phone or if you have a car, how do you know that your car is practical? Ah, because they work in real situations, right? Not just in a possible situation. Imagine if you have a cell phone and if it is practical, they work in the real life, <laughs> not only in the, in the advertising. Imagine if they say, this cell phone, you can use it under the water. <laughs> and when you go to a pool and just put the, the cell phone into the water and it's not working anymore, do you think that the cell phone was practical? Not really, right? So practical is that works in real situations. Now, the next one, the next pricey. Hmm, what is that? It's the F. Letter a lot of money. A? Letter F. Letter F, costing a lot of money. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, yes. Prices. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So basically, pricey is the opposite of affordable. Okay? Affordable. It's basically the opposite. So what do you think? Pricier or more pricey? What do you think? Pricey. No. Pricier. In this case, is short adjective. Okay. The next adjective is functional. 
What is that? That's what do you think? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. So having the basic things needed to worry, but not anything more. Actually, that's correct. So look at the difference between practical and functional. We say that practical, they work in real situations and functional, think about a cell phone again, okay? They have all the characteristics that you need to work, but not anything else, not extra, extra features, no, okay? That is the meaning of functional. And then we have stylish and elegance. Actually, these two words are also very similar. So what do you think? What is the meaning for stylish? Letter E, looking good and fashion. Letter E, looking good and fashion. Stylish, yeah. Stylish is, is like a fashion. <laughs> and how about elegant? Do you think that elegant is the next one? Being attractive? Elegant, being attractive, be beautiful design. Because elegant is not necessary. Fashion, just beautiful. Hmm, are you sure? Everyone, what do you think? <laughs> do elegant, you agree? Being attractive. In my opinion, elegant is when looking good and fashion. I agree with her. Okay, so some of you think that elegant is looking good in fashion. Some others says that yes. stylish is looking good in fashion. Hmm. Well, actually stylish is when we are talking about looking good in fashion. And elegant is being attractive with beautiful design. So, but you know, these two words are synonyms, okay? So for example, if you have a car, you can say, ah, I have a stylish car. That means that it looks good. Or you can say, I have an elegant car. What is the meaning? Being attractive. So looking good, being attractive, they are basically the same, okay? So these two words, they are just synonyms. What is the difference? Can I say more stylish or stylisher? What do you think? Stylisher. Are you sure? I think that it's more stylish. More stylish. Mm, some of you say more stylish, some of you say stylish hair. So that I never is never heard of stylish hair. Yeah, right? <laughs> so how about elegant? Can I say eleganter or more, more elegant? elegant. More, more elegant. elegant. Ah, so that's what I want, everyone. Oops, sorry. That's what I need. Okay. I need you to try to identify the the comparative adjectives. I know that this is a topic that you already studied. So just remember, we have short adjectives. We just need to add ER. For example, the iPhone is pricier than the Nokia phone. And we have the long adjectives, more than one syllable. So you have to use more. I think the new iPhone is more elegant than the Google Plus phone, okay? And just remember, we have the irregular adjectives, the ones that change totally, like good for better, bad for worse, well for better is just the same, and far farther. And there we got some others, a irregular adjective. But in general, this is like the most important thing that you have to remember. Clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. One syllable. Yes, clear. Good. Let's do a practice. We need to complete the following sentences with the correct comparative form of the adjective. I have here in brackets some adjective, for example, strong and then affordable. Look at the first sentence. I prefer Timberland's shoes than Gucci as they are. What is the comparative of strong? What do you think? It's stronger. Ah, very good. We will say they are stronger. And what is the comparative form of affordable? More affordable. More very affordable. good. Exactly. 
So I need a volunteer for reading the number two, please. Me? Yes. I like how the iPad Air, sorry, I like how this iPad Air is. What, what is the comparative of slim? Uh -huh. Can I say slimmer or more slim? Slimmer. 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 Good job. Magdaleno, continue reading. Slimmer. Slimmer than the regular iPad, although the screen, the screen is smaller. Very good. That is the one. So those are short adjectives. During the practice, sometimes I listen, ah, this is more small. No, never. Smaller. Okay. I'm I need confused it. with that, teacher, because ah, is in Spanish we pronounce S. In English is like slimmer, right? Slimmer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. And that's why we get confused because we think S is one syllable, lim is another syllable, and it is not like that. Remember, when we are talking about syllables in English, we are talking about vowel sounds. When you listen slim, how many vowel sounds do you listen? Slim. Only one Aye. vowel. Right? When you listen to the word small, how, how many vowels do you listen? Just one. one. Small. Just, Just one. one, two. Exactly. So that means only one syllable. What is the exception? The ones that are ending in the letter Y. For example, happy. How many vowel sounds do you listen? Happy. Two. 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 But what happens with happy is ending in the letter Y. That's why we don't say, I am more happy. No, we say happier, okay? Teacher, no. this is, yes? so that exception is with every, every word, uh, it's finished with uh, Y. Always as long as it has only two syllables. For example, imagine I have happy. I will say happier. Oops, happier. Another example is angry. As long as you have only two syllables. Look, one and the other that is ending in the letter Y. If you have more vowels in this case, it's not acceptable. Okay, so um, let me see. I don't remember in another adjective that is ending in Y, but imagine, imagine that instead of angry, it says like, and tangry, for example. It's just an example. How many syllables do I have? One, two, and the letter Y. So it's not possible in that case. In this case, we should say more. In okay. Hairy, hairy teacher. Which one? Hairy. Hairy, like a lot of hair? Yep. So, hairier, because in this case, only one vowel sound. Hair, re. Okay. It is the Be careful with the microphones. It uh -huh. is the same rule with the letter Y, right? Yes. Think about this. Only one vowel sound, and it's ending with the letter Y. That is the rule. In this case, that is the common word that I listen during the practice. Healthy. Okay. How many vowels do you listen? Healthy. Two vowels. Ah, look at this. I have one yeah. vowel sound and the letter Y. So what do you think? Can I say more healthy or healthier? Healthier. That is oh. the one. Mm -hmm. So I always have one vowel sound and I have the letter Y. So that is the exception. Clear? Anyone? 
Yes. The exception is because sure. they, at the end, do, do you have a, a Y? Yes. That's the one. Exactly. Yeah, but this two vowel, this, the, 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 the sound mm -hmm. is two vowel. Okay. Exactly. The reason why we use it as a short adjective is because they are ending in the letter Y. That's the exception. Okay, let's continue. I have another sentence, please. I need a volunteer for the sentence number three. Teacher? Uh-huh. Can I try? Of course, go ahead. I think body shop products are cheaper than you Malone. But I like you Malone because it is oh, more stylish. No. More stylish. stylish. Yes. How many vowel sounds do you listen? Stylish. But look at the difference. You can say teacher, but we have the letter Y. Yes, but the letter Y is not at the end, okay? So we cannot say stylish -er. mm -mm. We have to say more stylish. Very good job. Okay, number, yes? And in, in this comparative case, never use the highest level comparative. Uh, I yeah, uh, maybe is the strongest never ah. use. In this case, remember that we are just using comparative form. When you mm -hmm. add EST is the superlative. We can practice that one later, but the rule is the same. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. but in that Thanks. case is the superlative. Now, I need a volunteer for reading the number four, please. Only one. Can I? <laughs> of course, go ahead. Okay. In my opinion, Microsoft computers are faster than Dell, but they are also more pricey. More pricey or pricier? Pricey. pricey. I have more pricey because I think that is too vowel pricey. <laughs> pricey. Ah, but at the end is ah, why. Sorry, sorry. Pricier. That is yes. the one. Look at yes, this. Pricier. We have two vowel sounds, but what happens? It's ending in the letter? Yes. Why? Why? So we say pricier. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. I need a volunteer for the last one, please. Can I? Of course. Uh, I love staying in Riz Carlos, Carlos, Carlos Hotel on business trip because they are more comfort, comfortable than Mandarin Oriental or Hotel, but I do find the design of Mandarin Oriental Hotel more interesting. Very good, exactly. If you see, these ones are long adjectives. So we say more comfortable or more interesting. So anyone, is it clear the way that we can use the comparative adjectives? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, I know that you know these rules because this is a grammar tense that you are already, I mean, it's a grammar topic that you already studied. So the idea is to practice it. So when we talk, we can use it correctly. We are going to have one more practice um, using the comparative adjectives. I have prepared some pictures, so you just have to pre uh, compare them. For example, I have Batman versus Superman. <laughs> can you compare them? I want you to use short or long adjectives. So for example, I think that Batman, <laughs> it's, richer than Superman, <laughs> okay? So what do you think, everyone? Can you compare them? Give me sentences. I think that Superman is more handsome than Batman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sounds good. 
What else? Batman, teacher. Batman is stronger than. No, no. Superman is stronger than Batman. Ah, very good. If you listen, he said stronger. That's the correct one. Very good. What stronger. else? Stronger. Is stronger. Yes. So Batman, uh, Superman is stronger than Batman. Very good job. What else? I think Superman is more interesting than Batman. All right. Because he has natural super powers. <laughs> Okay, basically he's an alien, right? <laughs> All right, what else, everyone? Another comparative sentence? I think Superman is faster than Batman. Very good, faster, excellent. So if you see, if you listen to your classmate, they say more handsome, more interesting, long adjective. But they also say stronger, faster, so short adjectives. Excellent job. Let's continue with the other pictures. But before that, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So everybody, if you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Okay. Christian Alexander. Okay, he's listener, I guess. Erika Jasmin. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Um, Hector Francisco. Present. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present, miss. Okay, very good. Ivan Guzman. Ivan, yes? Oh, yes, he's there. Say present, everyone. Excuse me, presence. Uh, okay. Microphone off. <laughs> Sorry. All right, no worries. Holman Hiron. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present, teacher. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Very good. Selvin Adonai. Okay, very good, very good. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's see the next pictures and give me sentences in order to compare them. Okay, let me share it. Can you see that? Yes? Okay, yeah. let's compare this one because I think that is something very common. TikTok and Instagram. Okay, compare them. Volunteer? Instagram is useful, is more useful than TikTok. Okay. Uh -huh. Who else? You can use the adjective that we studied, everyone. What else? TikTok is funnier than Instagram. Uh -huh. Good job. Very good. So if you see funny, we have two syllables, but it's ending in the letter Y. So we say funnier. Nice job. What else? TikTok is more popular than Instagram. Okay, very nice sentence. One more, please. One more sentence. Or let's Instagram move on. Is older than TikTok. Ah, good job. That is the one. Very good. Okay, give me a number, anyone. From one to 10, give me a number. Number five. 
Okay, five, summer versus winter. Okay, let's compare it. Uh, summer is better to winter. So summer is better than winter. Okay, what else? Winter is, is colder than summer. Mm, good, sounds good. Uh -huh. summer is, the, the summer is more comfortable than winter. Mm, okay, okay. I listen to anyone else? Yes, me. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Winter is colder than summer. Definitely. Very good job. If you listen, you are using short adjectives and long adjectives. That's what I need. Very good job. Okay, let's compare apples and Android, but please use the adjectives that we studied. Okay, reliable, pricey, elegant, helpful, okay, functional. Try to use those type of adjectives. Compare them, please, Apple and Android. Uh-huh. Apple is more expensive than Android. Okay. Okay. Instead of expensive, what is the adjective that we can use? Pricier. 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 So the idea is we already know how to say expensive. So instead of expensive, let's use price. Yeah, the one. Exactly. Pricier. Very good. Another one. Android is cheaper than Apple. Very good. Cheaper. Can you tell me a synonym for cheaper? More affordable. Very affordable. good. So remember, let's try to use the new vocabulary. We already learned how to say cheap. Okay, let's use affordable. Remember, you are intermediate level. Let's try to use different adjectives. Okay, what else? Let's compare it. Give me more. The software, the Android software is more practical than Apple software, for ah, example. Nice sentence. Very good job. Okay, one more sentence, please. Mm -hmm. Android, Android is most functional than Apple. More functional, very good, excellent job. So you see anyone, you are using the vocabulary and that is what I want, okay? So try to always review it. I know that this topic, again, you already studied it, but the idea is when we are speaking, we have to be able to use the correct adjective. Okay, in the correct comparative form. Tomorrow, because unfortunately we don't have more time, tomorrow we are going to continue practicing this topic, all right? And please, if you feel that comparative adjective is difficult, so try to continue practicing. Now, before leaving, the winner for tonight is Ivan. <laughs> so Ivan, you had to stay. The rest of you, everyone, you can go and sleep tight. Don't forget to work on the platform, please. And tomorrow, try to connect on time. Okay? So, good night, everyone. Thank you. See Have you a good tomorrow. night, everyone. Thank, Thank you. You Have too. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Jamie, do you have a question? Yes, uh, the last assistant, <laughs> I was turned off my <laughs> my microphone. Yeah, no worries. I already checked your name. No worries. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, Sorry. everyone. Sorry, miss, but today I was a, a little bit late. And 10 minutes, I, I don't know, because my son is sick. So sorry. Oh, yeah, no okay. worries. I totally understand. I hope you son get better soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Have welcome. a good night. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Good night. 
Goodbye, everyone. Only Ivan stays. Okay. Hello, Ivan. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. How was your day? Today, uh, tired. A lot of work? So, uh, a, a lot of work. Yeah, I imagine <laughs> that. But it's Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week. All right. Will you work on vacation? Um, only two days. And the rest of the day is free? No, the days of the day uh, working. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, the, the Monday and the Tuesday, no, uh, Wednesday, the Monday and Tuesday working. Ah. Vacation so only Thursday, Friday. Ah, okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and weekends? Ah, we can rise. We can stop. Day free. Day weekend off. Mm -hmm. All right. So at least you can have four days. Days off. <laughs> Day off. Mm -hmm. That's great. Excellent. Well, I hope you can uh, relax. Okay. So, Ivan, this moment is for questions about uh, the class or the program or the platform. So, this is your moment. Do you have any questions or comments? Okay, uh, the class is uh, excellent. No, 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 no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. In in the case the the class is um, uh, lo de los uh, competitors. Comparatives or uh, competitors? No, okay. comparative. Uh, when mm -hmm. used uh, more um, uh, the ch chain uh, change the words. When you use more, the adjective, it has to be long. So basically the adjective doesn't change. Imagine if you say interesting, long adjective. And if you add more, you just have to say more interesting. The adjective doesn't change. When mm. the adjective is short, so you change it. For example, cheaper. Okay, happier. In that case, we don't add more, only ER at the end. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. do you want to do a practice? Yes, practice, practice. Let's do it. Let's do it right now because we have a couple of minutes. Imagine that you have pizza and sushi. I want you to compare them, try to use short and long adjectives. Can you give me sentences, please? Pizza is a uh, more delusion is a uh, sushi. Ah, very good. So pizza is more delicious than sushi. Very good. Than sushi. What else? Another sentence that you can give me? Um, sushi. Uh, no sé si se puede usar así, no me gusta. Mm, but in that case, we don't have adjectives. I don't like sushi, so. Mm. For example, imagine that I want to use the adjective pricey. Pricey, okay. So. The pizza, the pizza is pricey, then sushi. Okay, what is the comparative form of pricey? Can I say more pricey or pricier? What do you think? Uh, pricier. Ah, we will say pricier. Okay. So remember, it's short adjective. So that's why we change it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How ¿Cuál about. Es la, ¿cuál uh -huh. es la, excuse me. ¿Cuál es la, o sea, en, uh, entiendo cuando usted me dice short adjective, long adjective. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, hay una cantidad de, de, de letters in the adjective o no sé, I don't know. Okay. In English, but in Spanish, nosotros contamos las sílabas por letras. Por ejemplo, si yo digo hola, ¿cuántas sílabas tengo ahí? Yo las separo así, hola, right? Mm -hmm. 
In English, it's a little bit different. No la separamos por la cantidad de letras, sino por los sonidos de vocal que escuchamos. For example, mm. si yo digo, um, what else? Let's see, let's see. Um, water. ¿Cuántos sonidos de vocal? Escucha, no las letras, solo los sonidos de vocal. Water. Two. Exactly. I have wa. That's a vowel sound. And then we have rrr. Mm. So in this mm. case, ¿cuántos syllables tenemos? Two. Two. So in English, así es como contamos um, the vowel sounds or the syllables. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for example, imagine if I got, uh, let me think. Mm. Imagine good. Si estuviéramos in Spanish, lo contaríamos así. Look, right? Mm -hmm. But in English, ¿cuántas syllables escucha aquí? Good. Good. One. ¿Cuántas? Only one, exactly. Only one. Mm -hmm. So, por eso es que en inglés es un poquito diferente. Aquí no contamos por letras, contamos por los sonidos de vocal que escuchamos. Ok? Mm -hmm. Very good. In the case of pricey, ¿cuántos sonidos de vocal escucha? Fry C. Fry C, two syllables. Exactly. Pero ¿por qué no vamos a usar more? More pricey. ¿Por qué no decimos more pricey? No que decimos pricier. Irregular. Ah, and it is ending in the letter A. Y. Uh -huh. Si termina uh -huh. en Y, entonces tenemos que agregarle el ER. ¿Por qué? Porque es lo mismo como cuando decimos happy. No podemos decir more happy. We are going to say happier. Ok. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is, uh, it, is it the rule? That's the rule. Exactly. That's the rule. If the adjective is long, for example, can you give me a long adjective? Long, sure. Adjective. Long. Give me an example of long adjective what do you think mm. long adjective uh, let me see um, practical very good practical how many syllables do we have here practical how uh, many vowels three Ah, exactly. In this case, it's a long adjective. So what do we need to do? Can I say practicaler? Can I say that? Mm, yes, practical. Mm, ¿Cuál sería el comparative? More practical or practicaler? More practical. Ah, correct. So lo que tiene que tener en mente, Iván, es lo siguiente. Si solo tiene una sílaba, entonces usamos el ER. En el caso de cheap, cheaper. Mm -hmm. En el caso de fat, fatter. Fast, faster. Solo tenemos Fast, una so. sílaba, así que le agregamos ER. ¿Cuál es la única excepción? Si termina en la letter Y. Ahí también le agregamos el ER. Now. Yeah. Si el adjetivo tiene más de una sílaba, como en el caso de practical, si se fija, es largo, ya no le vamos a agregar el ER. ¿Qué es lo único que vamos a hacer? Agregarle. More. More. Ok. In this case, talking about pizza and sushi, I want to use the word expensive. Can you give me a sentence using expensive? Um. Este, ¿cuál fue? <laughs> Which one? So sorry. No worries. So we can say sushi is expensive or more expensive. What is the correct one? Uh, more expensive. That is the one. So sushi is more expensive than pizza. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. One. So tomorrow we will continue practicing this topic. 
Okay, so no worries, we will practice a lot because I can see many people had different issues with this practice. So, lo vamos a seguir practicando, no worries. Teacher, uh, algún tics que me pueda dar para que yo a veces yo siento como que hablo como un niño, que solo digo yo, 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 va. o sea, <ríe> entiendo, entiendo de que hay que, hay que hablar en todos los tiempos, ¿verdad? Present, uh -huh. past, future. ¿Hay un tipo de ejercicio que usted me pueda recomendar o algo para que ya en, la, en el speak uno pueda, pueda este, hablarlo ya en esos tiempos? Ok, my recommendation is practice general questions. This is what we are going to do, Iván. Look, está este sitio web y aquí hay diferentes topics. So, lo que yo le recomiendo es lo siguiente. Vamos a ver acá, no sé, hablemos de... Free time. Ok, aquí tengo free time y tengo diferentes preguntas relacionadas con el free time. ¿Qué le uh -huh. recomiendo yo? Ok, tome una pregunta y grábese cuando usted esté respondiendo uh -huh. esa pregunta. Y luego usted se escucha y ahí vamos a ir identificando nuestro propio feedback. ¿Qué hago bien y qué hice mal? En este website también usted puede encontrar... Eh, los diferentes tiempos gramaticales, right? For example, aquí estamos en topics. Usted ve aquí diferentes topics, right? Ahí yeah. usted escoja el que le parezca como que más interesante, all right? Pero también podemos encontrar, let me see where is it, creo que en all questions. En las all questions, uh, let me see. Ah, si se va hasta abajo, if you scroll down, tenemos todas las questions diferen eh, usando diferentes grammar tenses o diferentes grammar topics. So, imagínese que usted quiere usar exactamente el comparative, el topic que estamos viendo ahorita. Tome una pregunta y lo mismo. Look, which one is worse for your health, smoking or drinking? Y usted comienza a responder, pero grávese. Y dice, ah, ok, yo creo que smoking is worse because bla, 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 bla. Cuando ya termine de, de grabarse, escúchese. Y ahí usted va a ver qué palabras pronunció mal, si sonó fluent o no, si se equivocó en una palabra, si no supo pronunciarla, si no supo cuál era la palabra en inglés. Cuando usted se escucha, entonces usted dice, ah, ok, voy a buscarla en el diccionario. Y ya cuando ha arreglado los mistakes, vuelve a contestar la pregunta y se vuelve a grabar. La idea es que el segundo audio quede mucho mejor. ¿Quiere practicar uh -huh. los grammar tenses? Acá en esta opción, look, están pre uh -huh. hay preguntas en present perfect, present in the perfect. present continuous, tenemos preguntas en simple past, tenemos en uh -huh. todos los grammar tenses. Entonces, le voy a compartir este link. Ok, se lo voy a mandar ahorita en el chat. Eh, tiene preguntas en general, así que eso es lo, algo que puede hacer si usted quiere mejorar el speaking. Ok. Ok. Very good. Ahorita se lo estoy enviando aquí en Zoom. Ok. So, it's very useful, pero recuerde, grábese. Record yourself, porque ahí es como vamos a recibir nuestro propio feedback. Ok. Ok. Very okay, good. Teacher. Nice. Okay, we don't have more time, uh, Ivan. So keep going. You are doing a great job. I like because you always participate. Excellent job. So we are going to continue tomorrow. So don't forget to continue working on the platform. All right. Okay, right. Very good. Okay, Ivan. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah.